<laughs> Seriously, <laughs> what was that? Okay, okay. Uh, it's a little context. Uh, it's Merlin here, Indigo. Hi. Right here, and uh, there is Tiefling, and uh, we just got out of Maze Runner, and uh, we're gonna try to keep this quick. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> what did you think about it, Tiefling? The main character, the main people, other than like two or three of them, were horrible. The main character is the main character because the movie wants him to be the main character. <laughs> Not because he deserves to be the main character. Just because I did the thing so I get to choose. Honey? Well, the biggest, I think the biggest theme of this movie was the fact that all the other characters were too scared to try new things. They, they let their fear get in the way of, you know, moving on. And the idea was that this character didn't let his fear stop him from trying. And I think that's the biggest thing is that, you know, a lot of times in humanity, I mean, people are scared of change and so they let that stop them from helping. And that was the uh, and improving. main motivation of the bad guy. He didn't want change. He didn't he want did. them to leave the maze because he was can, so used to it. I can see that. Like, I, I actually, I know you that's, said you that's thought... That's the he, point. He wasn't scared to try. No, Tiefling, I know you said you thought that the motivation for the villain was bad. I will admit he was annoying, but I thought he served his function. Like, I could kind of understand him. He was the first one there. Like, he got trapped in the no, maze. No, he wasn't the first one there. Yeah, he was the first one there. That's no, why, that's no, why he was the leader. No, he wasn't the first one there Albie. was the Asian kid. No, Albie was, no, no, was, was the first one there. First one. That's, that's why he was kind of like the de facto leader. Because he was yeah, the because he was the first longest. one there, and that's didn't they no? Didn't they say that they sent the, the Asian dude was the first no, one there? No, 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 no. That's no. why he mapped the entire thing. No, no, no. No, no. no. Asian was the one. The Asian kid was the one who was the runner. He was the, the main longest. runner guy. But the the first guy there was Albi, the the red haired kid, the antagonist. I did not get that. That, that speech for the no, like. No, no, no. That was the, the okay. Albi's the black kid. Who who was the leader? Well, that's pretty bad. Uh, wait, see, this is okay. This is a problem right here. We don't even know who the leader is. Like, that's the problem because there are because a couple are we characters. Because paying attention. No, seriously. I swear to you that the Asian <laughs> kid was the first one up. That was their whole thing. Why he Rino. was important? No, that's, he was the look. first one. Like when they were talking, they, when they had the speech about the first person up there, they <laughs> zoomed in on the fucking Asian kid. Look. Why would they talk? Why would they visually be looking at someone who isn't the person they're talking about? Look, look, look. I, look, th this is a problem. Okay, I have to confess. I I'm just going to start off by saying I thought the movie was enjoyable. I thought it had some good action scenes. It's enjoyable. No, but, it's but, but, just look, not good. I will admit the, the characters were not very well established. Like, for instance, I think that the characterizations for who was supposed to be the leader, the main guy... I'm sorry, he's not that charismatic of a lead. You had a couple other characters that would have been more satisfactory main characters, and even with the organization of this little group that they've made trying to survive in the maze, their little society, he's we're still, still not, we still don't know who's clearly established as the leader. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were fighting have about who they were even talking Maybe about. Maybe they had a democracy. Maybe they had a democracy. Honey, it, was, it was not a democracy, though, huh? because the one kid that's an a-hole was the guy that was opposed to everybody he was listening to, even though half the time there was no reason. None of the people to... there liked him, but they still <laughs> followed him. I did we live a in democracy? a democracy, and we still listen to a-holes. No, hum, but that's the The, the majority likes the a-holes. That's how they win. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe people really liked the a-hole in this one. No. They obviously didn't. When <laughs> they said, no, we're not following you. <laughs> and then he said, go tie them up, and they still did, even though they Obviously had no. Maybe they were, they were like, No, there were like his two cronies that didn't get named ever and died off screen. <laughs> <laughs> and how did he get? Wait, how, let me ask you the guys. How the fuck did he do uh, that? Spoilers, spoilers. Okay, how did he get through the maze? He, because how, they how, needed him to die. Because every like the maze closed up mm -hmm. and there were grievers inside. Yeah. There was well, no reason he could have had like six people. He teleported. If he if he could do that with six people, why were they there for three goddamn years? <laughs> Because, like, I mean, did they, just they were scared. Did it conveniently open up just so they could have that scene with him? Maybe. Like, maybe when they pushed, pu pushed the open door, everything opened. I guess. And the grievers turned off. Because this is literally the, How did he get stung then if everything get turned off, got turned off? But then he must have been. Must, they must have all gone in after them. They or like he a, might no, have he, stung himself on purpose so he could remember. Because remember, the main character stung himself so he could remember. He didn't the, learn that that guy remembered anything, though. Oh, uh, they kept it a secret. They didn't really go into that. That is true. Or maybe, like, maybe <laughs> the other characters that, um, 
that got left behind went in with him, and the, they all those died. Those were the people that talked to that talked with the main character at all. They didn't have one line of dialogue because we <laughs> no, saw no, no, all no, no, the dialogue. No, 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 no. The main no, no. What I'm had. saying is, is that the the after a while, the people who stayed behind eventually followed after them, but because that they didn't like because of for whatever reason the Grievers killed them off except for that one for the villain. But he got stung. That's how he was able to make it all the way to the maze though without anybody You know what without him. You know what frustrates me? Hmm. Is the fact that uh this movie doesn't really need a sequel. Like I I, I mean the ending was silly. But I would have been happy if they just like you know had the ending. They got it. They, they get got, out of the maze. They, they, they win. Spoilers. Yeah, they get out of the ways. They're saved. It was like they're actually part of an yeah. evil corporation spoilers. that was ex- that was like experimenting on them. That's kind of a cool twist. I mean, hey, how often is that that they actually are just kind of in the middle of some other bigger plot? Like whatever, that's cool. But like they're gonna try and like make a trilogy. Make out a of this trilogy. Thing. Well, it is based off of a book. Series. I know, but just because of that, I, I don't know if it necessarily demands it. They're just going to put him in another bigger maze so that it can figure out what makes him special so they can fight the random brain virus that is somehow connected to solar flares. You have to admit, that was random. That is bullshit. Like, okay, I can deal with the, the famine and the flares and the heat and the fire, but random virus... Because. Zombies. And one thing, I, is that how they made the Grievers? That's, I think, maybe that's what no. the Grievers are. Because if you think about it, they like when the Grievers stung them, it caused that the yes. changing, which was basically the virus. No, but they had a little canister with a thing that injected them. There, it wasn't like part, part of the Grievers. It wasn't. That's what I want to know. Thing. I mean, I, that's what I want to know. What wanna, are the Grievers? I wanna know, are they, what are they? That, I want to know how they made those things. They don't explain that. What are they? What are those kind of uh, demonic monstrous things? Maybe All right, well, it's things like you're okay. Obviously, they're leaving a lot of questions open because. There's going to be two other films because there are three books in the series. I know. My point is, I'm, the point is, we're still iffy. Anyway, we don't have a lot of time, so in summation, I want your final thoughts and a grade. Letter grade. Honey, you go first because you got uh, the camera. Okay. Or Jesse. You can go. go. Okay. Pick. I just, I, yeah, you tapped me on the shoulder like you wanted to say something. Um, I'd say it's not that bad, okay, it may have its minor plot holes here and there. I generally enjoyed it, I thought it had some good points, some good moments, uh, the opening sequence was great, it set up the plot pretty fast and gave you a sense of the mood of this entire movie. I'd give it a B-, minus. Okay. just because the plot points are actually pretty valid, <laughs> despite it all. Deedling? And their characterization wasn't that good. The story itself had so many plot holes, but it was still an enjoyable experience. I'd give it a C plus to a B, anywhere in between there. I would recommend waiting and seeing this for like renting it for like five ten dollars. Hmm. Okay. So you don't think it's theater worthy? I don't know. Uh, depending on how expensive your theater is, I mean, I wouldn't spend like twenty dollars on the, to go see this movie. But if it's like ten, fifteen dollar ticket, maybe. Okay. It's worth checking out. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll give my final thoughts. I actually thought that the effects and sets were really cool. There was actually some really good pacing. They managed to have some fairly intense action. I liked a lot of the shots there. I thought the characters were okay, but I think they were held up by a lot of really good performances. Most of these actors were really good. There were a couple later on, as it went throughout the film, the acting got a bit iffy. The story was okay, though pretty predictable. It's kind of been done before. Thought that the last part of the movie was kind of really rushed and forced. I mean, there's literally like a massive exposition dump, which just kind of takes all the mystery away from me. But overall, it was enjoyable. I'm going to give it a B-. minus. I thought it was decent. Uh, I think it's a good time, but it's pretty forgettable overall. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you. All right. Whoop. Hey. <laughs> uh.